Welcome back sports gamers, it's The Natural. Wanted to keep you guys up to date on all the latest Madden 18 news as well as new info that has not yet been released. So if you're excited for Madden 18 and think it's a chance to be one of the best Maddens yet, smash that like button and strap in. We previously already knew that Madden 18 was powered by the Frostbite engine, the same engine used for FIFA 17 last year. If you watched our Madden 18 trailer breakdown, you can see the power of the Frostbite engine and the improved graphics, lighting, and smoke effects. Also, Frostbite will allow for the exteriors of stadiums to be shown when zoomed out, as you can see in the screenshot of Heinz Field here, and realistic weather elements. A new mode called Play Now Live will let you play real world NFL matchups each week with custom commentary and up to date stats from NFL.com all the way through the Super Bowl. There's also three new play styles that have been added to the game where you can choose your type of Madden play style whether it be arcade, simulation, or competitive. Arcade is an action packed, excitement filled uh, game mode with spectacular plays and scoring with limited penalties. Simulation it's true to player and team ratings using authentic NFL rules and gameplay for the sim crowd. Competitive, more the tourney guys where stick skills are key. You earn big rewards for your skill or receive bigger penalties. This is the default mode for all head-to-head -head ranked online and tournament modes there. A brand new feature called Target Passing makes it into Madden 18 for the first time ever. No longer are you required to throw at the receiver button only. You can throw to who you want in the exact spot in the field with all new target passing. It gives you ultimate control on the where the ball is thrown. This is similar to the quarterback club's uh, passing feature where you throw to a spot and not the wide receiver. In NFL, quarterbacks don't see the wide receiver open and throw it. They anticipate them breaking open and deliver the ball before his break. There are passing windows in each zone and it's up to the quarterback to deliver the ball into those windows and for the wide receiver to be there on his spot there. So now QB accuracy will matter more in placing the ball into those windows. QB throwing power will matter more as stronger armed quarterbacks can fit the ball into those smaller windows. Wide receiver route running and awareness will matter more because the wide receiver will have to be in the correct place or sit down in the zones properly to make the play. Coverage assignments. Officially listed as know your job in pass coverage with on-screen real-time UI system informing you of your coverage assignments and pass defense. But we we know, we definitely have been able to confirm that it will be defensive assignments, yes. So now you can assign your best cornerback to the office's best wide receiver and he will shadow him the entire game. One of the most requested features has been brought back from Madden 18. So excited to see this one in the game. New feature, with coach adjustments, you'll be able to customize your AI to fit your game plan and make situational changes to your strategy on the fly as the game demands it. This new feature will be similar, not exactly, to the old NCAA strategy uh, changes on the fly where you can have your players focus on one aspect of the game and give you plus or minus depending on what you choose there. So like when tackling, do your guys go for the ball or uh, go for the strip or risk giving up a big play? How aggressive do they play their coverages? Offensively, uh, can your line hold their blocks longer with increased risk of a holding penalty call? The coaching adjustments will add another layer of strategy on the field and the defensive on the offensive and defensive sides of the ball. Of course, Madden Ultimate Team and Franchise will return uh, to the most popular modes in Madden. Honestly, nothing's been revealed yet that's new here, so uh, when there is, we'll definitely uh, let you guys know. Now for some unreleased news. Our friends over at Pie Boy Gaming, you can check them out on Instagram, confirmed JR Lemon is the voice and actor for the Madden 18 story mode. Lemon was raised in ATL Georgia and is best known for his work in the night shift. He received a BS degree in management science and engineering at Stanford University before being drafted as a running back to the Oakland Raiders. Having experience as a trained actor as well as being an ex-football player, Lemon sounds like a great fit for the role there. Since we now know it will be one set actor like FIFA 17 story mode, there will be no adjusting characteristics or voice other than the choice of position. It also means that we'll likely get ultimate team cards as we play through the mode uh, like there was for FIFA's. In the trailer you can see the character looking at Lucas Oil Stadium. Is it because he plays for the Colts? No. That's where the NFL Combine takes place. Can you say return of the training drills from Madden 09? 
Mm. Will the combine be in the story mode only, or will it become a part of the franchise draft process? I guess we'll have to wait and see for sure on that one. Don't forget, we will have Madden 18 gameplay for you guys after the gameplay, so stay tuned. And last but definitely not least, OTP, OTP, OTP. Yes, online team play returns to Madden. By taking a look at the PSN description for Madden 18, you can see network players 2 to 6. Now, if you go back to the same description for Madden 17, you can see network players 2 to 2. This was further confirmed by Rex Dixon, creative director for Madden, on Twitter by posting three fingers up in the air. One of the most requested features is now back in the game. Yes, the devs do in fact listen, but you have to understand that everything can't be implemented overnight with the push of a button. A lot of this stuff takes time. Well, that's all I have for you guys today. Which new feature or mode are you most excited about? What additional features would you like to see added that haven't been announced yet? Leave all your Madden 18 questions in the comments below. Madden NFL 18 will be released on Friday, August 25th on Xbox One and PlayStation 4. If you pre-order the GOAT edition with Tom Brady on the cover, you will gain access to it in three days earlier on the 22nd. Remember to smash that like button if you enjoyed the video and are excited for Madden 18 and subscribe if you want to see more content like this from SGL. This is The Natural. I'm out.